Hey guys, Gokusum for the one here, and welcome back to another Leaf Green walkthrough episode. In this part today, we'll be taking on the Saffron City Gym and the Gym Leo Sabrina. Now, before I actually do that, I'd like to show you guys a few things you can do in Saffron City since we beat Giovanni the last episode, and there's no more Team Rocket grunts in here. So, if you come to this house over here to the right of the um, Pokemon Center, this guy, Mr. Psychic, will give you a TM for Psychic. Psychic is an amazing um, Psychic type move. I don't think any of my Pokemon can learn it, but if you have a Pokemon like Haunter or even Alakazam, then that'll definitely be a great Pokemon to teach it to. So the last thing I want to show you guys before we take on the gym over here is another TM that you can get. If you come to this house over... I'm going a little too far here. If you come to this house over here, um, this girl... Where is she? Um, I think she's in the top room right here. But um, she will give you a TM mimic if you give her a Poke Doll. Now you can buy a Poke Doll in Celadon City. Personally, I'm not gonna do that because uh, it's not really worth it. And I'm pretty sure we could find a hidden nugget over here. So that'll be amazing. We're gonna steal her nugget, get some cash off of that. I think that's $4,900. So that's a lot of Poke Dollars. And that's gonna come in handy for myself later on in the walkthrough. But you guys will see what I'm gonna use it for later on. Now we're gonna go ahead and take on the Saffron City Gym. So when you walk straight up into the gym, you can already notice that it's a little weird. There's, this is a puzzle, so it might take you a few tries to make it to the end, but I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to uh, make it to the end. Now the first thing we're going to do here is fight this trainer, because I need a lot of Poke Dollars. I realized that um, at the beginning, of before I actually uh, record this episode, that I need a lot of Poke Dollars if I want to get some TMs for my Pokemon for the Leap Four. so I'm definitely going to fight a lot of trainers. But on top of that, it's great EXP, so I do recommend doing this. We're going to bring out SSJ Coco at the beginning. This gym is jam-packed with a bunch of Psychic types. So if you have a Pokemon with a Bug Typing or even a Ghost Typing like Haunter or Ghastly, which are great Pokemon to pick up before this gym, you can pick them up in Lavendertown, Lavender Town, of course, in the... I forget what it's called. Pokemon Tower? Yeah, it's called the Pokemon Tower. On top of that, if you have a Bug Type, which is like... If you picked up a Parasect at the beginning by uh, Mount Moon, or even if you have a Butterfree still, that is definitely a great Pokemon to have throughout this gym, because Psychic types are weak against Bug types, and on top of that, they're weak against Ghost types. I think that's the only two typings they're weak against, so if you don't have those two typings, you're going to be struggling. But there are a lot of Slowpokes and uh, Haunters and stuff, so... If you, again, if you have a ghost type or electric type, then you'll be able to sweep through this gym quite nicely. So, Slowbro right there, gonna give us a lot of EXP. That guy's not too hard, again, if you have electric type or something. Now, the first warp ad we're gonna go into is to this one right here. Now, personally, I'm looking at a, a little map right now because I don't 100% know my way through here. I just kind of go through, through warp pad to warp pad until I make it to the end, usually. So, trying to make it to, through the fastest war pad is kind of hard. Now, he's going to bring out a Mr. Mime. Now, Mr. Mime has amazing special defense. Like, I mean amazing. So, he's only a Psychic type. He does turn into a Fairy type later in Gen 6. Um, but, uh, we're going to be able to take him out with a few Shockwaves here. I'm not going to switch out into a Physical Mon because there's really no point. Um, we are going to become confused, though. And I just realized... I have no battle animations. I don't know how many times I've done this in a walkthrough, but we're just going to continue on through this um, fight right here. We're going to get hit by confusion. Damn, I can't believe I forgot my, uh, I forgot battle animations. I usually do that. I think I've done that like three times. That's because I was level grinding Jackie Chan before this episode happened because I need to get him up to a high enough level. And if you guys chose Jackie Chan or Hitmonchan with me, you guys will know um, if you trained up your, your Hitmonchan to level 26, he will learn all the elemental punches. So he'll learn Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, and on top of that, he'll learn Ice Punch as well, which is an amazing ice move for uh, Hitmonchan. I do recommend teaching him only Ice Punch and keeping the rest of the moves that I taught him, I think uh, two episodes ago, the same, just because Ice Punch just covers a lot more typings, and it's really good against a... Uh, 
dragon type if you come up against one which you will come up against later later on in the in the game so I definitely recommend teaching your Pokemon ice punch because if you don't you'll have some troubles against those dragon types now we're gonna take down this Alakazam here he's only gonna have two Pokemon on his team again this gym has amazing EXP so fight most of the trainers here and I'm gonna have to turn on battle animations here okay so it's time to continue on through this gym here Turning on this battle animations will actually get some interesting battles and I'm gonna fight this trainer right here. Now, I don't remember, I think this is like the second last war pad you have to go through, if I'm not mistaken, but this man right here is gonna have a lot of Pokemon, he's gonna have a Kadabra level 31, Mr. Mime level 31, a Slowpoke level 31, and a Kadabra level 31, so a lot of struggling here we will have. Um, it, if you have like a strong physical Pokemon like my Chaotic right here, which I did switch into like Slash or Dig on either a normal type or a ground type, again, strong physical Pokemon, you're going to have a lot of, um, it, you're going to have a big advantage pretty much. So we're going to take out that Alakazam or Kadabra in one shot right there and Mr. Mime's going to come out next. So SSJ Coco did faint, that's why I switched him out into Chaotic or switched out into Chaotic here. Um, I kind of want to level up Roshi a bit, but Roshi, hmm, Roshi does have Bite, but the problem with Bite, I'm pretty sure it's a special move in this game, so it's not going to be doing as much damage as I would like. It's either that, it's not really a strong move, because it wasn't doing that much damage to uh, Mr. Mime earlier. Again, I don't really know what moves are special and which moves are physical in this game, because they did switch from Gen 3 to Gen 4, and then they stayed the same throughout the rest of the Gens. But uh, it looks like it's doing a decent amount of damage. The slowpoke is going to go down right here. Level 31, going to get some juicy EXP. I can't believe I just used that word to describe that. That's such a weird word. It's kind of cringy in a way, but it's also kind of a satisfying word to say, juicy. But he's going to use Foresight right here. Or the, I think Slowpoke used this, actually. So, going to take a little bit of damage there. Not really going to matter. I'm going to use Dragon Rage over here. I want to test out how much damage Dragon Rage is still doing. I know it's going to do a decent amount of damage. Oh my god, that's doing more than Bite. Now he is going to raise his defense here, so if Bite is a physical move, which I don't know again, um, we're not. it's not really going to matter because Dragon Rage does do base 40 damage no matter what. Roshi is going to go up to level 34 here, nice, bringing up those high levels. Um, getting closer to uh, one of the highest po level Pokemon on my team, now Kadabra, last Pokemon, I think I'm going to keep him in. I'm going to bring him up to level 35. Now, I do have two strategies that I could use against the gym leader here in this gym, Sabrina. Personally, I wanted to use uh, Roshi going into that gym battle, but thinking about it, um, Chaotic, again, if you have a strong physical mon like me, uh, my Sand Slash, uh, you could definitely sweep through Sabrina pretty swiftly. She does have high level Pokemon, so you do need to watch out for that. Psychic type Pokemon are like the most OP Pokemon in the game, in my opinion, like the most OP typing. Um, it definitely does have a lot of weaknesses that you can exploit, but most Psychic types are either super fast or have high special defense or special attack, so you do have to watch out for that. Now, Psych Psychic, um, I think his name was... John or Jordan went down there. Um, which warpad do I go through? Uh, I think it is uh, this one. I'm trying to remember here again. I don't really know my way 100% through here. Okay, sick. We went through the right one, and we're gonna fight this next trainer right here. Now I'm pretty sure this trainer here is only gonna have one Pokemon. That's gonna be a Slowbro level 38. Um, once you beat Sylphsko and beat the leader Giovanni, this is when the game starts getting harder. You start getting these high level Pokemon, and it's going to be a struggle, that's for sure. So I'm going to use Slash right here. Um, this thing does have high defense, but I am pretty confident that we could take it out with Chaotic here. Uh, I could switch into my Gyarados, but I really don't want to take unnecessary damage. I don't know what this Pokemon has attack-wise, so... If he has Psychic or something, he's going to have head Headbutt, so we don't really have to worry about that. Um, but I don't want to worry about getting Psychic or something and losing a lot of HP, because I don't really want to go back and heal all my Pokemon. Uh, because if I don't need to, I don't need to. Uh, I do want to go heal up my... Uh, I think Jolteon... Yeah, Jolteon died. I want to heal him up, but I think I have some revives in the back, so it's not really that much of a struggle. Oh my god, okay. Well, it looks like we might have to switch out here, because I, I think he used Defense Curl there. Um, let's go ahead and switch out into Light Bulb. We will get that super effective Grass Typing on this Slowbro. You do have to watch out though, if you have a Grass Type against these Slowbros, or, or like Venusaur, pretty much, you, you might have some struggles because, again, Venusaur is a Poison Type, and Poison Types are weak against Psychic Typing, so you do have to watch out for that. Really, 
need to uh, strategize what you need to do in this gym because it's probably in my opinion um, and a lot of other people's opinions too. I've heard that this gym is just the hardest gym in all of Gen 1. Besides the final gym, the final gym isn't that hard though. Um, you can still uh, sweep through it. So I kind of want to fight the rest of the trainers, but I'm going to show you guys the final war pad to make it through. And this is where the gym leader Sabrina is. So I think we fought like majority of the trainers. We only missed like three or so, maybe four. But I'm going to go ahead and actually fight her just because we're here and I think my Pokemon are definitely ready. So Roshi again, I kind of want to bring him in. Okay guys, so I said I was going to get straight into this battle, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I did. I did heal up my Pokemon number one and number two, I bought some revives. I realized I had zero revives in my um, inventory, so you might need revives in this gym. It really depends on uh, what happens, but... Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and start out with our Chaotic here. Um, because Sabrina does have a lot of Pokemon on our team. And very strong Pokemon, uh, may I add. But we're gonna fight the Gym Leader right here. Psychic type Gym Leader Sabrina. One of the toughest gyms in my opinion. And a lot of other people have the same opinion, uh, out of my friend group at least, that I know of that Sabrina's just the toughest Gym Leader in all of uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green. But, she's going to send out her level 38 Kadabra. Now, this girl has a lot of strong Pokemon on her team. Uh, Calm Mind, that is scary. That was one of the scariest things that Kadabra could do. Or her, pretty much, Kadabra and Alakazam. Now, before I even get into this gym leader, or gym battle and continue on with what I was saying before, she has a level 37 Mr. Mime, a level 38 Kadabra, as you can see. A level 38 Venomoth, which is kind of weird. Venomoth is a poison bug type. And then she has a level 43 Alakazam, which is the scariest thing on her team. So you do have to watch out for that. But we're going to take down the uh, Kadabra with ease. If you have physical Pokemon on your team, you shouldn't have too much trouble with this gym. This gym can be pretty damn easy. Now, I'm going to switch into Roshi here because... Mr. Mime can set up Reflect, and I don't know if we can Oko it once it uh, sets up Reflect. Um, one thing you do have to watch out for, she does have two Hyper Potions that completely heal up her Pokemon, so that is one thing that you have to watch out for. So if you can't Oko a Pokemon, it reaches red health, watch out for that. But my Pokemon can two-shot this thing and leave it in yellow health on the second shot so the Pokemon AI is just not going to use the hyper potions that's one strat you could use and this thing used Calm Mind. Sabrina is just loving Calm Mind this battle. Now Calm Mind is a pretty great move but if you're going to get Oko'd don't use it. Um, now I'm going to switch back into Chaotic here. Again this Pokemon is a bug poison type so I do have Rock Slide on my Pokemon. I could have switched into my Hitmonchan on my Jackie Chan and got him some action, but I don't think he would be able to Oko this thing in one shot. Now, Venomoth does have Psybeam and Supersonic, if I remember correctly. I don't remember the other moves, but Supersonic does confuse you, of course, so you do have to watch out for that. RNG is a big struggle. Um, it's gonna almost Osho. Oh, Osho. Osho him. He's gonna almost Oko him with that Rock Slide, but again, you do have to watch out for the Hyper Potion, which he used right there. Damn, okay. Well,. That's good that she wasted one Hyper Potion. You could pretty much either, if you don't want her to use her Hyper Potions, she's going to use them either way if you're trying to avoid them and she uses them, but you want her to waste them on her lower level Pokemon. You don't want her to have both of her Hyper Potions on her Alakazam because that is going to be a struggle. Now, Psybeam going to come out onto this, or off of this Venonat. Not going to do that much, or Venomoth, not Venonat. Venonat is his first evolution. Venomoth is a great Pokemon. I do recommend grabbing it if you want a good grass and, or not grass, bug and poison type on your team. I was thinking of uh, Venusaur's typings right there, but we're going to use another Rock Slide right here. Take out the Venomoth which ten, with 10 HP. That is great. Um, Chaotic so showing us who's boss now. This is the final Pokemon. Um, I want to bring out Roshi. Roshi does have great special defense so Sabrina has Psychic, Future Sight, and Calm Mind if I remember correctly. I don't know what the last move, move was, it could be Recover, but Future Sight and Psychic, two really strong Psychic moves of course. Future Sight hits the next turn um, before after you used it, so you don't need to worry about hitting the first turn, but she could unleash a double attack on you, which is kind of a struggle, but if she sets up Calm Mind, which she did right here, this is one of the scariest things you could 
have in this battle. Alakazam using Calm Mind, her Alakazam using Calm Mind is level 43, has amazing defense, special attack, and on top of that, well, special defense, special attack, and speed. So this thing's gonna be a struggle. Oh my god, she set up another Calm Mind. We can get Oko'd now. Roshi's gonna get Oko'd by a Psychic. She could live, I know Roshi could live one Psychic with one Calm Mind. Okay, she's gonna use her Hyper Potion this turn. So it's good she's wasted both of them, but man, this is gonna be a struggle. I need to see what I have for uh, maybe X items, because I don't know. Okay, okay, the computer AI is fucking dumb and didn't use... I, I think that's like the first time I've said that word in my... I try not to swear on my Leaf Ring walkthroughs because I try to be a little uh, family friendly, but honestly, this AI is really, really dumb because it could have used Psychic and watch this. It's going to Oko my Roshi. It could have used that last turn and saved itself some trouble. Um, mm, okay. We still have SSJ Coco. I don't know if SSJ Coco does at speed. Normally, um, Jolteon does have higher speed than Alakazam, but right now, I think we're just going to have to go for a quick attack. Okay, almost KO'd. And the computer's dumb. <laughs> well, it looks like Future Sight's gonna come out, but I don't think this will Oko SSJ Coco. Hopefully. Okay, sick. And Quick Attack's gonna take out Alakazam. Nice. We defeated the gym leader, Sabrina. That was a hard gym bell. I was scared. Once Sabrina set up or sets up Calm Mind, you just need to watch out for that. Now, you will win the Marsh Badge and $4,300, which is nice. And all Pokemon above 70 will obey now she's gonna give you a great tm here if you got the psychic like we did at the beginning of the episode and you have this calm mind tm which sabrina gives you you are gonna be a force to be reckoned with if you have a psychic type on your team or even i think um if i'm not mistaken gengar or haunter or ghastly can learn psychic too i think gengar can only learn psychic and haunter i don't know if ghastly can but i don't think any of my pokemon can learn calm mind except for Except for my light bulb, but I'll teach that to him another day. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, go ahead and tell me what you liked in the comment section down below. And also tell me what you didn't like. That can improve my videos and make them more entertaining for you guys. In the next Leaf Green walkthrough episode, we will go ahead and go down the bike route and get the TM for fly. So I'm very excited about that. We'll be able to fly anywhere in Kanto next episode. So anyways, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with a comment.